Welcome back to the channel and on this episode, we're gonna talk about a type of logo that I have not discussed yet, the dynamic logo. What is it exactly? A dynamic logo is a logo that can adapt and shift depending on its environment. It allows your brand to be visible regardless of whatever screen, size, or device that's being used to access your content. This adaptability can also flex your creativity as well as satisfying that desire for versatility. Responsive web design, for example, is a way for websites to communicate the information to its audience in the most optimal way possible. So basically what it is, is it takes the website elements and the content and shifts them depending on what device you're using to access it. And the elements that are being shifted or altered or you know, minimized in size, one of those elements is the logo oftentimes. So a way to have your logo be dynamic is for it to be responsive. And having responsive logo design oftentimes just means utilizing your logo system as best as you can. So depending on the size of the screen, it will determine which logo to display to your audience. This is an example of branding scalability, and it allows you to have a lot of tools in your tool chest to be able to make sure that your brand mark is visible in all the ways that it possibly can. Now, scalability is also a big reason why it's suggested to use Adobe Illustrator for logo design instead of Photoshop because Adobe Illustrator has these beautiful things called vectors. Vector is king and scalable. So it allows you to make images and make shapes to where you can scale it without losing the quality. And that's really what it's all about in this type of dynamic mark is making sure that you retain the quality of your message and your visual regardless of what device or regardless of the screen size that is used to access your content. Now, another way for a logo to be dynamic is to change the logo itself, change the exact visuals that represent your brand. Now, for example, Google, they do the Google Doodle where when you search, there might be a different image that kind of spells out Google depending on the story they're trying to tell that day. Dynamic logos can you know, change the images, it can change the, have color variations to your logo. There are many different ways you can make your logo dynamic depending on the message you're trying to send. Dynamic logos can morph and shift with ease to kind of keep the brand in the presence of the mind of the audience. Now, Nickelodeon is a great example of using a dynamic logo. So Nickelodeon has many different ways that it can present itself, many different shapes that appeal to the children that the Children's Network is trying to attract. So it's one of the more famous dynamic logos and being dynamic is a part of the brand because it is a Children's Network. So it has that energetic orange and it plays in the creative sandbox to the great delight of its audience. Now, other ways to be dynamic include changing, you could have a, a mark where it has part of the mark changes color depending on the department or the particular initiative that is being taken on. Or you can have a series of icons that represent a different branch, whether it be a different branch of government, different department within the company. So you have the company name there, but then each branch has, it, has its own icon that associates itself with the overall brand. So sometimes whether you're trying to do different divisions, you can do things that way because that can add some specificity to the overall brand. You could even add motion to your logo. So you could have, if it's definitely something that's dealing with video, you have a brand that's dealing with music or something like that. These are kind of all the different ways you kind of make your logo dynamic by analyzing what, the, what are the messages that you're trying to send? Where are you trying to be? What kind of audience are you trying to attract? And if you have multimedia, that can open up a new new ways of presenting your logo and presenting it to a new audience that may not have been following you before. So a dynamic logos are basically about how you can keep the overall brand image and the overall brand mark 
but then shape it, twist it, manipulate it to ways that can keep it fresh and keep it relevant. Every logo and every project doesn't require a dynamic logo. Just analyze who you are, what you're trying to do, who you're trying to attract, what market you're in, figure out if it's right for you. And be careful not to go too far away from your core brand and your, your core mark because you don't want to get to the point where you're putting your putting different images out there and there's no cohesion. So you, you still want to be cohesive and you still want people to be able to know that it's from the same brand, but allow yourself to play. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite dynamic logo? And remember, as you go along in life, teach as you learn and inspire as you do. See you next time.